Star Wars Force Arena players, welcome to this brand new video. Today we are going to be playing with Grand Moff Tarkin. This deck is relatively cheap at 2.9 and it is packed with support cards. So for those of you who don't know, Tarkin will generate one energy, 50% um, chance for him to generate one energy if you use a support card. And here we've got Darkseid's Grenade, Nerve Gas and a TIE Fighter. TIE Bomber also is a support card too. And the idea is that you just wear down your enemy in the game. So you, you use Dark Grenade, for example, to obviously take away health and Nerve Gas to slow them down, much like how the Scout Trooper does. And as you saw in a Callus video I did recently, those two together are, are pretty, pretty lethal. Please pause the video to check out any of the decks we are using. Now, Tarkin isn't particularly very fast, he's not particularly strong. His special abilities can be weak, but it's good defensively and it can do a lot of damage on a turret if you're using it offensively as well. Uh, I tend to use it on both situations, depends on obviously on what's attacking me and what I need. If I haven't got any energy left or anything available, I'll then decide to use it. As you can see there, I'm wearing down Hera, she's doing a bit of a runner. Dox's grenade's gone in there, in goes the nerve gas as well, and she's just like, oh my life. So she's already used a health pack, which is good for me. Although I'm taking a bit of damage here, everything has died, I will get out of here, but it's, again, there's no pressure on myself. Darth Vader's died in the right lane, but he has made a slight push there, but nothing to write home about as we move into the two-minute mark of the game. So the build-up with this particular deck is that you've got your sentry droid, so he's going to be your, really your main push with the blazeman backing it up. And if you can get the turret to lock onto a sentry droid, the blazeman will then literally just chop it to pieces um, in, a, in a flash. But obviously you, ha you have got a light tank should you need that too. So you've got some really good options in terms of attacking. And also tanking as well defensively, so you can always drop down the sentry droid defensively. But bearing in mind the counters there. So I've got two now. So I'm going to use my um, special ability here on the turret. As you can see... Does a bit of damage, but nothing to write home about. But that really was a suicide attack. I managed to get my Doxus grenade in there and my nerve gas at the same time, which bought me a few seconds. But now what will happen is Luke and the rest of his gang will get picked off by those snipers that Vader so kindly placed in the middle, and they will now die to the iron grenade. So the game is pretty good, pretty evenly, Stevens. Vader's done a lot of damage on the bottom right. So I throw down some units to help him now with his push. In goes a sentry droid to back him up. He drops down a light tank. He does his, his ability that he does best. He's just going to focus a turret now and just do as much damage as he possibly can. So he's going to die, but there's enough units backing him up there, really, on that lane. And that was going to give us a one turret lead as we move into double energy. So Luke and Hera haven't really thrown much at us. But here we go. I'm just going to run in here, let the base do some work. They throw down a Wookiee Warrior. I'll throw down my uh, special ability. And Hera's just having a tea break, I think, in the corner. Vader throws down an ATS, which surprised the hell out of me. Uh, Chopper missed it, Chopper instead got hold of my sentry droid, but as you saw there, because Vader put that ATST there, he spent all his energy so he couldn't really defend his lane, and that has brought the Rebels back into the game 1-1 with just 17 seconds to go, but everything will just get melted away from the nerve gas and the Doxus grenade, and the snipers will then just do as much as they can there too to help. But right now, Vader is going to hopefully make a push down this left lane as Hera retreats. Waiting for my energy to rebuild back up before I throw down units. One thing players tend to do a lot of the time is just throw down units randomly. There's no thought, there's no support. So if you like throw down a tank, for example, it costs five or six energy, and you don't back it up, that's a, that's a waste because it'll just get beaten up by something that costs two or three energy. So you don't really want to be in a situation like that. So always, if you need to pause for a bit and then just let your energy recuperate, just do that. Just wait for a bit. But with Tarkin regenerating a lot of energy, uh, the chances of you pushing uh, lanes is pretty strong. So I have had a lot of fun with this particular deck and thanks to Dunno, 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 Dunno on the, on, in the guild and who joins us in the live stream for suggesting, suggesting, suggesting this Tarkin deck to give it a try. And again, pause the video to check out the decks that everyone is using right now. So not a bad start. So I've got a light tank there which I will deploy. I've got Doxus Grenade, TIE Fighter and Blazeman there as well. And so I'll just throw down my Doxus Grenade to get some value. Sentry Droid then out with a tank behind it. But a tank does manage to get overtake it, but focuses on Leia. Now, you see their Partisan Rebel. Now, they're really strong. Despite the nerf they had recently, they're still really strong. Because of the amount of damage they can do. And really, they're great counters for the sentries. But 
thankfully there, with the raw gas from the Emperor helping, Leia got pushed back, and that turret does fall. Meanwhile, on the other side of the lane, Leia dies as well, and the Emperor is just defending with a good push top left. I throw down a tank to support. For some bizarre reason, I decided to moonwalk. And what I've just done there, I've let the sniper lock onto the turret because there's no way I'm going to get in range to attack it. And there's a shield. Wow, you don't see one of those every day of the week, do you? But you will know that the shield doesn't protect you from airstrikes, grenades, doctor's grenades, for example, and nerve gases, so it doesn't really benefit anyone. Uh, and the shield still really is a waste of time, despite having a health increase. Leia does die. She tries to drop a raw guards, which she will do. I'll then throw down my counter here which would be my main special ability which just about saves the turret and this is what I talked about earlier in the video where you use it when you need to use it like for moments like that but really in all honesty that turret is lost because it's got hardly any health there really is no point defending it because it's going to be gone I'd rather use your energy in a push and then in goes a drop pod and despite having bags of wet hair for blades that should be enough to destroy it in comes the Malaz, Talaz army, I keep calling them Malaz but Talaz army I'll just do that. In goes my doctor's grenade. Thanks very much. Burn him down a bit more. Leia runs over to the health pack. Decides against it. But that green looks really good in her dress. But as we move into double energy, I'll click this health pack. Wait for my energy now to recover. I've got five. But Leia, you know what Leia's going to do? Leia wants to come across now and do what she did earlier by deploying a raw guard, which is the trick that I've used in my videos. So I don't want to make her do that. So I use my doctor's grenade. And there you see, she has no choice but to deploy them there. And I knew that. And despite my um, special ability going off, it didn't really do much damage to them. But Leia just about survives. Wow, the Doxus grenade didn't do enough to kill him. But I'll just defend now because the Emperor's got a good push in the middle. It's 2-2, two -two, but I'm not particularly worried. This will sit back behind a turret. I don't really want to die here. Do me an airstrike. Build up some energy. And the Emperor does indeed take down a turret and the shield generator to give us a 4-2 GG right there. So Leia was a bit lucky that the um, Darkseid's grenade just about wore off at the right time because a little bit one round longer and she would have been dead. But it's always no, it's good to know that when you see a leader like Leia, because you know full well a good Leia player will try and use her raw guard to take down a turret. So you need to really try and prevent that from happening by using your Darkseid's grenade to slow them down. Or even, for example, if you, if you deploy the guards on your turret, use your nerve gas if you can, if you've got it up to slow down the attacks and that will really weaken the attack and if you've got scout troopers there again that will slow down the attack giving you enough time to kill everything in sight hopefully but we can but hope and wish so an exchange of airstrikes there between the two sides Barry you haven't seen Barry for a while working away I will get some energy here from the airstrike thank you very much Han to poise Chewbacca I throw down my doctor's grenade I've now Drop down my nerve gas to slow everything down. As you can see, Han's just about getting away. No, he's not. The Emperor's in for a push now. So you've got two tanks in that right lane. This should be enough now to take that lane down. I'll just to distract these here. Leia's making the push top left. Nothing to worry about. Emperor does take down a turret, and he does die. But Leia's got a huge push going. She drops down her guards early. And thank you very much. That is a good collection right there. Beautiful. Beautiful airstrike. Getting absolute maximum value from it. Barry is busy there repairing the wrong turret. Hiya, Barry. It's it amazing. Oh, the, the turret's gone. Barry's looking around thinking, oh, well, it was it. It's not here anymore. And he's repairing the other turret now, but the Emperor's just electrocuted him. So see you later, Barry. Never mind. Maybe next time. But we're moving to 1 minute of 30 and uh, time left to play. The game is relatively comfortable. We're not taking any damage at all on both our, on all our turrets, in fact. Top left looking vulnerable for the Rebels. And the Emperor is making a push there too. And as you can see, I've dropped down my Unique. I've dropped down Blazeman to help support the attack. Take care of back. I've thrown in my Nerve Gas. I've thrown in my Doxus Grenade too now. I'll now deploy my Special Ability as we look to take down his turret, giving us a 2 lead. And the Emperor <laughs> does a suicide again. And wow, 2 0, but 1 minute double energy now is a case of holding on. We don't want to get too greedy. Throw down a Sentry Droid who decides to go the wrong way, and in comes some more Rebels, in comes Leia. Click this health pack here, Han's going top left. But everything here is, is under control, really. Throw in the blaze and take care of Leia. She throws down her unique, but again that won't be enough for really to hold off. And it's going to be a good push, top left, in goes a tank. Emperor's going to go for it now for the middle turret. I throw in a tank in the bottom right lane as well, doing like a pincer approach. This is going to be a GG for us with 31 seconds to go. In goes the airstrike, taking as much as it possibly can. Blazeman dies. I just want the light tank really to focus on the turret, but for some reason it's shooting at everything but the turret. 
Han's got a push top left with the Wookiee in there. The Emperor will electrocute it. See you later, Chewie. And we've only well, we've got 12 seconds to go. That's going to be a GG. Strange positioning there of a sniper. And that's going to be a good game there as I do an awful strike and take care of Leia and her troopers. GG. A good game. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the deck. Have you played it before? Have you played Tarkin? Now the queue times are really long for Tarkin. I mean, it, it has taken me an absolute age to make this video, um, which is just, uh, you know, not good. But because everyone's playing Empire right now, and Tarkin is a good character to play because he's not, he's not um, full on. So, for example, with Darth Vader, Darth Dyson. You're pretty active in what you're doing. You have to be in there to do the damage because they deal so much damage. But Tarkin is more of a support unit, support card. So he'll support your attacks for, the, for your uh, leaders and tanks and throw in down his orbital strike as when you need it. So up against Luke now. Luke's, this will be interesting because obviously Luke can deflect. I throw down my gas. He's got Ben. So one thing I always tend to do when I face a Luke, I will not throw down Dewbax, Blazeman. Anything that Ben can convert until I know Ben is around. If I see Ben deployed, then I know I have to be cautious. Because the last thing you want to do is give Luke a gift. A free gift of, say, four, five, six, seven energy that Ben may convert. So the way you can counter it with this particular deck is by obviously you've got a light tank, you've got your sentry, you've got your gas, you've got your airstrikes. So things like your Blazeman is really the only card you have to worry about. Because you can't convert your unique, so that's particularly safe. So that's any card you have to worry about. So you, again, be mindful about how you deploy that. If you see Ben and Ben's dead or Ben's attacking, then you could be in with a chance here. But here comes Luke, throw him a tank. We all know what this is going to do. It wants a suicide, but I'll do an orbital strike just to take care of him so he doesn't do any damage. And I'll drop down some Doxus Grenade there just to wipe up the rest of the level scum. And they do die. So again now, because I know Ben's there, Luke's respawned. All my units here can't be converted by him. I'm going to run in and just die. I couldn't stop myself. Uh, which is bizarre. But to be honest with you, the reason why I did that was I haven't got a health pack. I'm low on, it and it, on health as well. We were, I was pushing that lane. So I died. And that way it prevents me from dying when I'm being attacked. Like now, Luke comes at me. If I was to die now, he, he could be on my turret and I would be in a hell, hell of a lot of trouble. That, that um, nerve gas was a waste. Really, I should have used it from Luke. But Luke will die now to this Dyke's Grenade and to my tank. And this is going to be a turret right here, right, right now. Not worried about Drop Pod. Drop Pod's been nerfed. So, again, two bags of wet hair. It isn't worth worrying about. And this will give us a 1-0 lead in double energy. Thank you very much, Luke. Do appreciate it. And as you see there, I generate some more energy thanks to that TIE Fighter Strike. Wait for my tank and Sentry Joy to move in. So the good thing about this deck, as I said, is that Luke can't convert nothing. There's nothing to convert. So you've got old Ben there. So all Ben can do is swing his lightsaber and say, Join us! Join the rebels! Join us! Join the rebels! But he can't convert anyone because they are droids and uh, can't be converted. But Luke has got a push on this right side. And with just 18 seconds to go, my partner thought, you know what? I'm not going to help. I'm just going to switch off. And they're the kind of games I don't really like playing in, to be honest with you. But I do my own little strike. Just defend what I've got here. Middle lane, I have taken down that turret there to give us a 2-1 win. Krennic can be top left till the cows come home, and he will not get that turret. Uh, which is bizarre. So, you know, in situations like that, if you, if you are pushing and getting nowhere, help your partner defend or attack. Get a turret. It's a, meant to be a team game, rather than you just keep pushing that lane and getting nothing out of it. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. So guys, there's the deck again. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next Star Wars Force Arena video. May the Force be with you.